Hi friends, how are you today? Happy Friday, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercarts.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with Barbie. Yes, little Ellie is dressed in her Barbie outfit. Isn't that cute? This is her little Barbie dress, so I'll just hold her up a little, a little more so all of you can see her Barbie dress today. I'm going to check and make sure we're live. Um, it is so nice that it's Friday. I'm just happy. I'm always happy on Friday. There we go. Okay. Um, I see that we've got some people checking in. It is so good to see you here. I hope you've had a nice week, but more importantly, that you're going to have a great weekend. So, um, Leave me some notes and let me know if you're here. Ellie is, she will tolerate her Barbie dress. I guess I'll say that. Tracy, good to see you. How are you? Yes, TGIF. Margaret Gordon, good to see you. Good morning, Margaret Gordon. Allison, Roz, and <clears throat> Tina from Granite Falls, Nevada, North Carolina. Yes. This is Ellie's Barbie outfit. She, Jeanne Kohler, good to see you. Um, she is wearing her little Barbie dress. Okay, isn't that so cute? It has a little skirt. Look at that skirt. And little cute puffy sleeves. You really can't see it for too much from the top, but these are the little puffy sleeves right here. You're doing well, Tracy, in Connecticut. Good. North Carolina, Connecticut, San Diego. Good to see all of you. Um, so it is cooled down here in San Diego or in North San Diego in Escondido. It's cooled down a bit. And thank you, Ross and Tina. Um, we have humidity, but the temperature has cooled down. So that's nice. Polly Libby, good to see you. Minda, good to see you, Minda. Aloha. <clears throat> You're not on Maui, are you, Minda? I was thinking about you earlier. Um, we're all just grieving for Maui. I was there um, years ago, and I think they said the banyan tree burned down that had been there for hundreds of years. I'm just so sad. I hope you're doing okay, Minda. Um, let us know. Kay Phipps, good to see you. Yes, um, I'll, I'll share her. I'll show her dress in another minute. I wanted to hear back from Minda because um, we're all just so concerned about about Hawaii right now, about Maui. But I'll do it just to cheer you guys up. Okay, here's her. Here's her Barbie dress. Isn't that cute with that little skirt and the little sleeves? I just love it. She just had to get into the you know into the groove, into the the swing of things because, um, you know, everybody's talking about Barbie and wearing pink and Ellie wanted to do it too and I wanted her to do it too. So there we go. Um, Minda, you're on Oahu, but it's just devastating what happened with the fires in Lahaina. I know, I know, we're all just so sad. So many of us here in Southern California, yes, the Canadians are sad too. Um, probably the Canadians on the West Coast are the same as we are here on the West Coast. You know, people on the East Coast vacation in Florida and people on the West Coast, at least in San Diego, we vacation in Hawaii. And so many of our people go to Hawaii like every year. And so everyone is just really sad. Um, I've heard that there's just an outpouring of help and I hope that really continues. Um, but we are just going to we're going to get our minds off that and we're going to think about cards today. And um, so I today I told you I'm going to show you my fun fold that's going to be my backstage swap. And backstage is two weeks from today. I'll be in Las Vegas for backstage. Oh, yes, Canada. Cindy Reed, they have over 400 fires. Oh, my gosh. Marcia Fonte, Enzo is on your lap watching. You love Ellie's dress. <laughs> Good. 
Anyway, we're going to do this fun fold card today, so I want to leave plenty of time for that. Alrighty, so a couple of announcements. Um, make sure to use your July coupons. Go back through your emails and make sure that you have used them all because you can't use them after August 31st and we're about ha almost halfway through August. Um, kits are on sale all month, all the kits, and I've shown you a couple of them. They're great. You might as well grab them while they're on sale, up to 30% off. Um, paper and ribbon shares. Okay, paper and ribbon shares. I'm going to be doing, um, oh, you do have fighters from all over the country. I keep looking at the your comments, and so I, um, I want to comment back. Um, I'm going to be offering paper and ribbon shares for the new mini catalog. If you don't have a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, email me, Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com. I've already gotten several emails, and I will get one out to you. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be doing paper and ribbon shares. A share is where you get a quarter pack of every paper that's offered in the new mini catalog. The same with the ribbon. You get a quarter of a spool of every ribbon that's offered in the catalog. And that way you can test it. You get a little bit of everything, and if you really like one, you can buy more. But this way you get just a little bit of everything. So I'd love for you to get your shares from me. I'll be... Um, allowing you to make reservations starting next week you can make a reservation and then I can't bill you until seven days prior to the catalog going live so I won't be able to bill you until August 31st that's a law Allison you haven't gotten your catalog yet oh my goodness Alice is, Allison is one of my customers and I'm so sorry well I've got a bunch because I ordered them um, but you should be getting them any day. If you get desperate, just text me and I'll bring one down to you. My goodness sakes. You know, it's we can't really count on the mail these days. We just don't know. But um, anyway, so I'm going to be doing the paper and ribbon shares. And I'm going to just give you guys a little, <clears throat> a little tiny hint. And that is that I'm working really hard to win the trip this year. And it... I, I think I can do it. So if you have a choice between getting a paper or ribbon share from someone else and getting it from me, it would help me out a lot if you would get your shares from me. I would super appreciate it. Okay, um, Faith Creations. We just did a Faith Creations class, but I wanted to let you know there is an... At Hi, Renee. Good to see you. There is an amazing, if you've seen it, amazing... Um, suite called Oh Holy Night, the nativity set, the paper, two stamp sets, stars. It is beautiful. Debbie, good to see you. You got your catalog yesterday. Cherie, you haven't gotten yours either. I might have to run catalogs over to you guys. I signed you up to get it through Stampin' Up, so they should be coming momentarily. Um, anyway, this beautiful Oh Holy Night suite and I wanted to let you know right away that um, I'm going to be doing a Faith Creations class using the Oh Holy Night. Um, you, I think we'll be able to, you'll be able to get either bundle or both bundles if you want. And so it will be six cards as usual, but it will include the beautiful ribbon, the papers. Oh my gosh. I mean, you've already seen when we looked through, when I did the um, unboxing uh you know, video a couple, it was two, a week ago today, you saw the beautiful papers in that suite. And so I'm already designing the cards for the Faith Creations class. So um, you'll be able to get your bundles with the class and it will be great. It is amazing. Um, Cindy Reed got hers in Canada. Okay, so I think the demonstrators have gotten theirs and it seems like the... Um, the customers are probably right behind. So um, let me know if you still don't have them, local gals, by Monday, and I'll get some down to you, okay? And probably they'll come that day. <laughs> so I'm going to show Ellie's Barbie dress one more time, and then we're going to get started on our project. That's her little Barbie dress. There she is. And you've seen her Barbie picture. I've shown that. So, okay, I'm going to let her get down. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, I have to do a little something here. I'm just going to hook her up here. Um, I need to keep track of her today. She's been, 
wandering a bit too much. Oh, I have a gorgeous card to show you from Roz. Um, they're supposed to get theirs by the 5th. Well, the 5th is too long. I don't want them to wait that long. That's a long time, Cindy. Okay, look at this gorgeous card that I got from Miss Roz. Roz, this is beautiful. I love it. I, I do not have this bundle. It's, it's in the current annual catalog and it's called Lazy Days. But you guys, check this out. Look at that little patio, um, like a front porch and the rocking chair, the plant, there's a little bird up top. Oh my gosh, beautiful job, Ross. And look at the sun coming through, the way she's done that. It looks like blending to me. She would be able to tell us, isn't this beautiful? Oh, I just love it. Let me see if there's anything on the inside that you'll wanna see. Oh yes, she did the inside really cute too. That is beautiful, Ross. I love this. This is they all go up on my on my board for all my customer cards. But um, this is beautiful. I really appreciate it. And good to see you. Okay, let's get started with our card for today. So um, you can take notes if you want to. I don't think um, I don't know if I'll, I, I don't know what I'll do when I post this about the size, the measurements and stuff, but you might want to take down the measurements because it is cool. Now, if you got the Faith Creations Joy class that just went out, you got, this was one of the, one of the cards in that. So let me, let's switch down and we'll get started. Okay, there we go. See Mara. Hi, good to see you. All righty. Now we're not going to make this exact, we're not, we're going to use different paper, but this is the card. And if anybody knows what the name of the fold is, you can tell me because I do not know, but I think it is so neat. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? With four panels on one and two panels on another card, on, on another part. Isn't that just gorgeous? Let me know if you know the name of this because I don't. I'm not making, I'm making this fold, but different paper for, um, for my swaps for backstage. And for us today, we are going to use the All About Autumn. Yes, the All About Autumn paper. I thought we might as well use some beautiful new paper, right? We're gonna use some of this gorgeous stuff. Yeah, it is a wow card. I definitely think it's a wow card. So I'm gonna take you step by step how to do it. So there is scoring and cutting, quite a bit of scoring and cutting. So the base of the card, the, the main card base is the standard eight and a half by five and a half. And so I'm gonna show you the uh, scoring. And it's actually very easy. You score at your standard four and a half like this. And then you score at half of that, which is two and an eighth. Now you could go ahead and score at, um, I think it's six and a, I don't know. What I do is rather than adding that up, I just turn it over and do two and an eighth on the other side, just like that, okay? Because that makes it easy for me. And then we want to make sure to do, hi Linda, good to see you. Thank you, Renee. It is an absolutely beautiful paper pack. It really is. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and burnish our folds because we need to have them burnished to put our, our panels on. And this is the way the card goes. You just fold it in half like a standard card. Wait one second, okay. So you fold it in half just like standard and then the front and the back fold back. Okay, so it looks like that. That is your card base that you do everything else from. All right, and then we're going to have, um, I decided the colors I'm gonna use, I'm gonna, this is copper clay. I'm using colors that go with the beautiful All About Autumn. I, I, it's all color coordinated so that it blends with that. So now I have four strips of early espresso that are gonna go on that. These strips, and I'm calling them frames because they frame the designer series paper, they are 
five and a quarter by one and seven eighths, and I pre-cut that. And then what I want to do is I want to put two scenes that are identical. Let me put it down here. Two identical scenes here and two identical scenes here. So before I glue that, I want to, we'll cut our paper, okay? And I've got these two scenes that I really like from the All About Autumn. So I think what we're going to do is we'll cut this one first. And these are one and five eighths by five. So we have to cut an inch off the top or the bottom. That's kind of a hard thing to do, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go for the bottom. So we're going to cut five, cut at the five inch mark, and then we're going to cut one and five eighths two times. So we want two seams, one and five eighths, and let's go with this, I guess, one and five eighths. Let's see what we think. Or we might want some of this orange. Let's, I'll just cut three of them because I'll make another one later. So we'll have all these three scenes to choose from, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing with this sheet. Just because I think it should vary. You know, you need four pieces exactly the same, but I wanted to vary them. So let's see. Let's go five inches here. And then, what is it called? A WV fun fold? WV fancy fold. Okay, I thought you guys would know. You're so, I love it that you helped me so much. A WV fancy fold. Okay. And that makes sense because that's kind of what it looks like from up above, isn't it? So I'm cutting all these at one and five eighths. Okay. And I'll put that over there. And now we can decide how, exactly how we want to put them on. WV, thanks you guys. I love that you know that. Okay, so now let's arrange them and see what we think. Because I wanted to make it very fallish. This I think is too brown. And then we'll put two pretty ones on the inside. I think I like that, just like that, don't you? All right, so now we start gluing. And what I've been doing is I've been adhering these together and then putting them on the um, card base. And we're going to use this too on the front because this side is so beautiful. The back side of all of these papers from All About Autumn, they're gold. I think they all have a gold in them. It's, it's absolutely beautiful paper. Beautiful, beautiful. So I've, I've gone through, this is my third, uh, my third container of glue. Because I had to make 24 cards for my backstage swap. And that took a lot, it takes a lot of glue. It does, because all of this is glued. And I glue because here in San Diego, this weather can get dry. And when I use the snail, it sometimes doesn't, for me, it doesn't hold as well in, in the drier weather. I don't know what you guys think. So I always use um, my multi-purpose liquid glue when I can, when I can. Okay. So we've got all four of our panels and now we just glue them on. I didn't want to do anything ahead because I wanted to show you guys exactly how to make this. Okay, so we just glue them on right here. This is, I think this is just like one of the most exciting cards I've seen in a long time. And it's not really that hard to make. Once you, all you need to know is the measurements. It's really easy to make if you know the measurements. Okay. Yes, these papers. I love fall too. I can't wait. But you guys, you, some of you who live back east, hi Eleanor, good to see you. Some of you who live back east get to really experience the, um, the fall earlier because for us, 
our fall doesn't really start, I have to say, until November 1st. I've lived here since I was 16 in San Diego County, and in October, it is hot. It can be in the hundreds, so you cannot buy a pumpkin and put it on the front porch. I've said this before. It gets rotten, so we all have, you know, paper mache fake pumpkins because you can't put them on your front porch because they'll go bad. Okay, there's our fold. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that paper. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's the base of our card. Now the next piece, um, I'm using this one for the, I call it like a smaller card or a little overlapping card. And this is six and three quarters by three. And we're going to score it at three and three eighths. So early espresso. Connecticut fall leaves last three breaths. Then it's just miserably cold. Oh, Tracy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hadn't really thought of that. Three breaths, huh? Well, we celebrate anyway, even if it's 100 degrees. We celebrate fall in September and October. Okay, so this is our piece that is, so I guess that's the W and this is the V if it's called the WV card, VW card. Okay, so this is early espresso and then the pieces I'm using are um, crushed curry. I thought that would bring in the yellow a little bit. And then I wanted to use this beautiful back of one of the others we use because this is so pretty. And I do love the copper clay. And this is copper clay. Okay, so these pieces are two and seven eighths by two and a half. So what I've been doing, I don't know if it really saves paper, but I go with the two and a half, and then I get to save this whole part. And then this one, we know this is six inches, so two and seven eighths. I feel like I waste less, but I don't know. I try, especially with these beautiful papers, you want to really, really not, not, not waste paper, okay. So I'll say it again, this part here is six and three quarters by three, scored at two and three eighths. The crushed curry frames are three and an eighth by two and three quarters. And the designer series paper is two and seven eighths by two and a half. And we're just, it, I think these, um, the color of cardstock just accentuates the beauty of the paper. I really do. And with a card like this, you get to really show off different sheets of the paper. That's one thing I like. Okay, so now we're going to put it right on here. So it's kind of just layered. Marcia, good to see you. Yes. But two Marshes, Marsha Fonte, you must have this paper. It is six by six, but it is gorgeous. And there are many other beautiful, there's a leather chair or a leather sofa, leather, tufted leather, I guess, is one of the pieces, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, I just think this is, I, I haven't, you know, I just figured out the papers right before I got on, so I haven't seen it put together. Um, with this color and paper combination. So, all right, let's give it a test. Oh, isn't that pretty? Okay, now this is the little bit of a trick. And I have to say, I don't always get it exactly perfect. Um, what you do is you fold up your card base like this and with the front and facing up and then you put your overlap piece and you put it over the front and the back just like this and what I have figured out um, is that you put it about right down the center and if you put it down the center it'll turn out it'll turn out correct the main thing is you want to know that it's going to fit in one of our envelopes and you can tell this is 
I'm using a very vanilla envelope because that's the color that goes with this uh, paper. So you can see that if you pulled this overlapping piece out to the edge and you glued it there, it would not fit in the envelope. See that? So what you want to do is if I put it in the middle, right about down the middle, it fits perfectly in the envelope. Then it becomes like a four and a quarter. So you basically want this distance to be four and a quarter. Okay? So what I do is I lay it the way I want it to be with the front facing up, just about like that. And then I just glue it. You know, it was kind of scary the first time. I did a sample the first time before I did it with paper. And I just put a bunch of glue on there. You could put tear and tape, I think, if you wanted to make sure it wouldn't come apart. But I've had great success, great success with just glue. Renee, I made 24 of these for the swap. I just got them finished last night. <laughs> it was a lot of pieces of paper. And for that one, I used, um, I used another new set, a new set of paper. I used Garden Walk and it took the whole pack. I had like just two sheets left. It took the whole pack of Garden Walk to make 24 of these. But I'm excited because I'm gonna get, I'm one of the 24, but I'll get back 23 fancy folds. Okay, so now you've got the front glued and you just turn it over and put your glue here, the same thing, and I just put it about three quarters of an inch, a half an inch, an inch there. I don't put it too close to the edge because I don't want it to come out and ruin that pretty paper. Just do that and press it down. And then I press here too and just hold for a few minutes because I, I don't want it to slip. I want it to, yes, it is a lot of papers. I hardly ever do swaps because it's too much work when I'm doing all that I'm already doing and having class, you know, having classes to go and everything. But when I found out they were gonna have a fun fold swap and I could get 23 different fun folds, I mean, who doesn't want that? That could last me through the whole year. I could teach you guys all those different fun folds. Or I could do them and you could tell me the names of them because <laughs> that's what's been happening. <laughs> you guys know a lot. Okay, so there is your card. Check that out. So now I see why it's called that W and V. A WV card. Isn't that just so cute? Now, here's what, okay, this, this works. It really is supposed to be able to flatten out, but sometimes I glue, some of them I've glued them just a little bit differently and it, they didn't completely flatten out. And that was my problem. But also I tried gluing it flat and then it didn't work out either. So the method I found when making all the others was just to do it the way I showed you. And then all we need to do is decorate. And so what I decided is we're, I just punched two circles, um, one of copper clay and one of um, crushed curry. And I think we're just gonna stamp. So this is like a sneak peek too. We're gonna stamp, I got this fruitful blessing stamp from the new catalog. And I thought, we'll just put hello friend on there and possibly an acorn in early espresso. And I haven't even opened this stamp set. Look at that. Okay, hello friend is here. And let's find just that single acorn. Okay, we'll see if we can fit that little acorn on there. Okay, it's fun to open a new set with you guys. Okay, let me grab some um, blocks here. I forgot about that. Okay, here's our hello friend, and here's our acorn. And you know, I show you, I have, I heard from someone and it works great. I heard it along the way. If you put your stamps on your block, not straight, but at an angle, then when you go to do it straight, it'll come out better because for some reason you're not looking at the edge of the block, you're looking actually at the stamp. And it really has worked for me. So it's just a hint that I, that I got along the way. So let's see how this comes out. 
And again, this is early espresso ink to go with our card. It's kind of thin. I'll put the Hello Friend down and we'll put the acorn on top. Okay, it is kind of thin, but that's okay. And let's put that little acorn up above. Well, it got a little boo-boo. Let's do it again. We'll try it again. Okay. Hello, friend. There we go. And got some little extra ink somewhere on that acorn. I don't like that. Perfect. Okay. That's great. And so we're just going to do this with um, dimensionals. I'll use some dimensionals to put this on. I, I've been putting it on the right side, and I've just been using, using just one dimensional works actually fine. And I punched this out with the two, the copper clay was punched out with the two inch circle punch, and the crushed curry was punched out with the one and three quarter inch circle punch, and they work perfectly like that. So we'll put this over mm -hmm. here. That's our sentiment. Ellie's growling at me. <laughs> and then what we're going to do over here, what are we going to do? Oh, let me see. I have a couple of things over here. Here's another beautiful paper. And I thought what we might do, I've been putting some leaves over here on this side using the bow punch. And I thought we might punch out of these little leaves so it'll really look like leaves. What do you think? And let's see. I think what I'll do is, I don't want to really cut into that, so I'm just going to cut a strip here. And I think that'll work. I'll show you how I do this. You know this is one of my favorite punches, this bow punch. And if you do a strip about an inch, a little about an inch, inch and a quarter. You can get it to fit and it won't cut out the other side. You save some paper that way, especially when you're working with one of these beautiful, uh, beautiful papers. Let's see. Okay. There we go. Get my crumbs out of the way. Whoops. And here are the pretty leaves. Ooh, that's very pretty, isn't it? Where's my other one? Ooh, I like that. And then I've got da 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 this gorgeous new ribbon. And it's in a set. I can't remember the exact name. I meant to look that up for you. If you guys have the catalog, you could look it up. Um, because it comes in a set and so it isn't written on the package. Ellie, shh, 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 shh. I've got her with a leash so that she doesn't run away because um, I need her to stick with me right now. Stop. Stop. And she wants to go play or something. Okay. So, let's see here. I'm just going to play with my little bow. <laughs> Copper clay and natural, I think. Yes. Okay. Copper clay and natural. So I'm just going to try to pull that. And okay, let's see if we can glue our little leaves down. We'll just put a little glue on the bottom leaves. If I can get some glue to come out there. Okay. I think that might just look kind of good. And then we'll put our little ribbon. But you know what, you guys? You are all amazing card makers. You can decorate your card in any way that you want. I am just I just wanted to give you the pat like the pattern uh, for how to do this. Because I know that you guys can make some gorgeous, gorgeous cards. So I'm just going to pull this a little bit, and I need to get out my mini glue dots, and we'll stick it on with mini glue dots. 
You know what I was doing the other day? This is really funny, but um, I just stuck my finger on that and the glue dot came off. And it goes perfectly right on the paper, just like that. <sighs> I don't know why, <laughs> but it, it just does. And I'm putting two little glue dots. And it kind of holds the, the little stems of the flower, of the leaves down. And then you just put your um, put your bow right over it like that, and it kind of holds your bow down. And we'll just trim our little edges. Just like that. Isn't that just super cute? And so when you put it in your envelope, it just fits right down into your envelope. It'll fit perfectly just like that. And then the person can open it and have it just standing or you can have it be flat and if you want to you could put a piece of uh, very vanilla on the back to write on or you could write in um, dark ink or something like that isn't that just cute copper and natural ribbon combo pack thank you Roz I love that ribbon I just love that ribbon so there you go there is your now that I've discovered it thank you all for telling me um, the V, the WV card. I just, I just think it's super cool. I love it. So um, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed learning that today. And shh, don't tell anybody that's going to um, backstage, okay? Because my card, like I said, it has a different DSP, but it's, it's this fold. So. <coughs> yes, you must try. Do you normally put your labels on your new stamps? Um, I do not, Renee. I, 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 this is silly sounding, but I stamp naked. I do not like the labels. And the reason is because um, the label isn't exactly where the stamp is on this side. In other words, you could twist, put your label a little up to the right or down to the left. And I find I do better without the labels but some people love their labels okay so let me bring you back up and we'll give away a prize the prize from last week was a, a set of my cards there are three cards in there I won't take them off because we're we're kind of running late and the winner is Karen Piermarini. Karen, she has watched for a long time. I've got your address, Karen. She's sometimes over on YouTube. So Karen, I will get these three cards to you. I know you guys like my cards. And the prize for next week is this card. I'm gonna put this card in, in a little um, plastic envelope and I will save it and whoever wins next week will win this card. Okay, so put the word prize if you wanna get this, this cute WV card. I hope you've enjoyed learning this fun fold. And when I get back, I will show you all the ones that I got and we'll be making them throughout the year. Have a wonderful one and um, thank you 